I say before you go, drop that extra note. To me, it seems as though the way that you understand the sacraments is is setting us up to be more free. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Setting believers up to be more free. <laughs> and, and I'm so glad you brought that up because, yes, the freedom is flowing out of these realities. So some people will hear me talk about this stuff, and they'll decide to dismiss the sacraments. They just want the freedom. But the thing is... What you're doing is you're going to end up stuck in a loop because you're going to try to get the freedom from just thinking about it more or mm-hmm. trying to feel more free. Mm-hmm. So you're going to relegate yourself back into your head and back into your feelings. Wow. So you're going to go back inside. But we keep saying, no, extra nose is outside, outside of you. Mm-hmm. Don't just try to get better at thinking about these things or get better at you know, remembering them. Nah, it's not about just remembering or just thinking about it. You know what I'm saying? But... This freedom is tied to the many layers of grace that God brings to you himself. So stop trying to make it an intellectual thing where you just borrow. I like what Flame's saying. That's kind of dope. I'm going to pinch off of that and just think about it more. Remember the freedom that I have a little more. No. Come receive it from Christ. That's what your baptism is. That's what the Lord's Supper is. That's what the sermon is. That's what the reading of the word is. That's what the singing of the word is. That's what confession is. That's what absolution is. All of that is happening to you through means by the preacher and ultimately Christ himself in a divine service. Mm-hmm. So it's not this thing where you could just stay at home and chill and do some type of assimilated version of it with your partner or your spouse. It's like, nah, it's something bigger than that happening. You know what I'm saying? Don't forsake the fellowship it is. You feel me? Yeah. So yeah, and the freedom again comes out of those layers. So now you're moving into the world like, man, I could just live out my many vocations not trying to hope God would see how dope I am or how much more I've, you know what I'm saying? I stop, uh, you know, I stopped being so angry at my mom. And, and now God thinks, man, look at her. She, yeah. she killing it. Yeah. You get out of that and you realize the Holy Spirit is, he's working with me as I struggle. I'm good. Yeah. I'm safe. He's giving me means of grace, the spiritual disciplines, but I'm good. I'm safe. He's looking out for me with these things and he's using me in these many ways, but for my neighbor. But between me and him, I'm good. I'm safe. Mm. Now I can enjoy life. I can enjoy some of the things that it used to be, you know, I remember my parents' generation. They couldn't uh, play cards yeah. or dance yeah. or listen to certain R&B. Yeah. So they had a certain um, freedom of life cut off from them. Then came my generation where we felt like, I think you can do some of those things, but we had some stuff that we felt like, all right, we can play cards and dance, but... Maybe we don't go to a movie if they got a kissing scene. Yeah. Or maybe we don't go and listen to mainstream radio if they say a few curse words. Yeah. Like we started to um, allow ourselves a little more freedom, but we still kept some of the, the terror of living in a dirty world. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So now as Christians, we ought to know how to live in a dirty world, yeah. not be scared because we know the Holy Spirit is going to pull on us when we... When we He's going to give us that conviction. You feel me? going to give us that conviction. We're going a little too far. Yeah. And he's going to um, he's gonna also now push you out there a little more. Like, you can go out of town and take a trip with your friends and, and, and probably, you know what I'm saying, listen to some mainstream R&B. And you feel me? Like, this ain't what's determining yeah. what I'm doing with you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you of age, you can have a little cigar with your partners and, yeah. you know what I'm saying, have a little drink. Yeah. You can drink responsibly. Yeah. Why? Because the Holy Spirit like, if I see you getting messy... I'm going to tug on you. You know what I'm saying? He wants you to live in a world and to trust. Jesus said in John 17, he said, Lord, he said, I don't pray that you take them out of the world. I keep them in the world, but sanctify them. Mm. And that allows you to say, I can trust that God got me. He got me on the front end. He got me in the middle and he got me on the back end. 